Okay class, so for number 3, we are going to use the properties that we have learned before, right? So this is a combination of different function, right? So we will do B now, okay? So what am I going to do is just to substitute, right, the gx and fx, the function of gx and fx. So the limit when x approaching 4. Okay, my gx is 1 over x plus 2 minus 2 times x squared minus 1, right, over, uh, say, multiply with gx, so I put here x plus 2 minus 3 times x squared minus 1, right? So, by looking here, so I don't think there be something to be simplified, so we just have to substitute 4, lah. Right, so we have 1 over 4 plus 2 minus 2 times 4 squared minus 1 over 4 plus 2 minus 3 times 4 squared minus 1. Right, so combine, right, so we have here 1 over 6 minus 30 over 6 plus 45. Right, so here I will have 241 over 6. Right, so that is the answer. Right, so now we will look at number 4. Right, okay, so we are going to separate everything here and make limit of fx when x approaching 2 as the subject matter. Right, okay, so what we will do now. Okay, we will separate it. So we have limit of fx when x approaching 2 here, right, over x minus 4, okay, minus the limit of a constant 5 when x approaching 2, x plus 4 here equals to 1, right? Okay, so... Again, I can separate here, limit fx when x approaching 2 over the limit of x minus 4 when x approaching 2. Okay, here I can already find the value class. I can substitute 2 here. So, I will have 5 over 2 plus 4. Sorry, so this one should be minus, yeah. Okay, 2 minus 4, so equals to 1. Alright. Okay. Okay. 2 minus 4. Alright. Okay. So, for the limit here, also, I can substitute the value. So, it will be the limit of fx. When x approaching 2, right here, I can set up substitute the value to minus 4. Here, I will have minus, so plus lah, 5 over 2 equals to 1. Alright, so what I am going to do now is to make the limit of fx as a subject matter. Alright, so here we have limit of fx when x approaching 2. Right, put all the constant to the right hand side so we will have 1 minus 5 over 2. Right, multiply with 2 minus 4 so we have times negative 2 here. Right, okay, so now what we do, what do we have here? So we will have here 3. Okay, so therefore we will have the limit of fx. When x approaching 2 is actually equals to 3. Alright, thank you.